In the given figure, angle A is 28 degrees, angle B is 74 degrees and angle C is 26 degrees. If X and Y are measures of the angles in which they are shown, what is the value of X plus Y? So, lines and angles, parallel lines, concurrent lines, vertically opposite angles, alternate interior angles, corresponding angles. These are the concepts what we have to remember to solve this particular problem. Now, we have been given that angle A value, angle B value, angle C value, we need to find out what is x plus y. Now, to do that we need to have parallel lines. We already have two lines, two vertical lines which are perpendicular to the horizontal line. We will go ahead and add two more lines. And these lines are vertical lines and they are perpendicular to the horizontal lines. Now once we are able to understand this then it becomes very easy because when we have parallel lines we can use alternate interior angles property. So let us go ahead and try to solve this. First what is the angle given to us at A 28 degrees. If that is 28 degrees then part of the X on this side will be 28 degrees alternate interior angles. Now angle here is total x. This total angle is x and this is 28 degrees. What will be the left out angle? They should add up to x. That means that angle will be x minus 28. If that is x minus 28 then this also will be x minus 28 because they are alternate interior angles. And what is the angle at B? Angle at B is 74 degrees. That means total angle at B should be 74 degrees. We have part x minus 28. Total should be 74. That means we should subtract x and we should overall get 74 plus 28. 102 minus x. So the value of this angle will be 102 minus x. You can club them now and see. 102 minus x plus x minus 28. xx will cancel. We are getting again angle B 74. Now once we know this angle is 102 minus x. This is 90 degrees. Can we find out what is this angle? We can do angle sum property and we can find it out. So we can write down 180 equals to 102 minus x plus 90 degrees plus question mark. So, solving we will get question mark equals to x minus 12. So, we know this angle is x minus 12. We can club all the angles. We should get 180 in this triangle. 1 or 2 minus x plus x minus 12. That means it will become 90. 90 plus 90 is 180. Now let us focus on this triangle. We have here 90 degrees. We have 26. What will be this angle? Again angle sum property. So let us go ahead and write down 90 degrees. This is 26 degrees. Angle sum property that angle will be 64 degrees. If that is 64 degrees this angle also will be 64 degrees because let me just magnify that and write down. We have y here and this angle just now we found out that is 64 degrees and we have vertically opposite angles here. So, this angle is x minus 12. Now, all of them should add up to 180 degrees by angle sum property of a triangle. So, can we write down x minus 12 plus y plus 64 equals to 180 degrees. Now from that we can see that x plus y is equal to minus 12 plus 64 is 52. 52 to when it goes to that side we will have 128 degrees. So x plus y is equals to 128 degrees. Let us have a summary of this what we have done. Now we have been given that 
angle A, angle B, angle C values, we have to find out what is the value of x plus y. So what we have done, we have drawn two vertical lines, then we have used alternate interior angles property and angle sum property of the triangles so that we can find out x plus y is equals to 128 degrees.